Kia ora guys, gals and legionnaires, Rykon here and welcome back to Star Wars A Rimworld Tale. I'm very hot today, this is why I'm wearing a little bit less than I usually would be, it's incredibly hot at the moment, even though it's raining outside currently, it's raining in game at the moment as well. You'll see that off camera I have done a little bit of planning, um, and this is thanks to one of you in the comments, um, one of you recommended that we do a bathhouse of sorts, and I thought that was a pretty cool idea for a unique part of the building, a unique part of the temple. So we have, I guess you'd say, a little nicer kind of bathhouse. Um, and I would hope that um, <clears throat> it's going to give them a little bit more privacy. Hopefully they choose to use these ones rather than these ones here. You can still obviously be seen. Uh, but I guess where they become embarrassed is when they actually get seen outside of the bath itself. So I think it, I think it could still work out for us okay. Um, uh, we have added something else in as well, and that's a mod that changes the way that food works. When we click on a colonist, you'll see that there is a new tab here, which is food. Right now, they are just following the default colonist policy. They're going to go for the best food they can first, all the way through, working their way down. And currently, the best food available is the bowl of stew, produced by Triton, no less. And um, that is a favorite of everyone. Everyone seems to really, really love that, and um, it's... It, it's something that they're going to be eating pretty much all the time. Now, if we have a look at our little doggies here, we've got Fumiko. Fumiko will prefer to hunt, then have grass, then human corpses, then hay, then kibble, in that order. Whereas if we have a look at our animals here, it's going to be a little different for them. Hunt, grass, human... Oh, right, so yeah, so it, 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 this isn't going to hunt. So current best food we can see is tall grass. So for animals, it's all essentially the same thing, but they have different likes. And so tall grass is what essentially all of them are going to be going for at the moment. If we have a look at the animals, the best food for them is the kibble. Apparently there's only 29 units of kibble available at the moment, so perhaps we could attempt to make some more kibble for them. Oh, we, yeah, we're not that far off getting, getting a little bit more for them, so yay. Uh, it sounds like construction is going down. Solace, thank you very much for getting that construction, rather getting that constructed. The reason I did that was because this medicine doesn't need to be preserved. Um, yeah, so we don't need to have that in this freezer here. So I'm going to go ahead and change this over. We're going to go clear all, and I'm just going to go for manufactured. And we just want uh, regular medicine to go in there. So we're going to go important. Yep, that's perfect. And um, we're going to be able to use that freezer elsewhere. We might even be able to use it in here or one of the rooms or something. Something like that. I'm just noticing now that we have a little lack of light over here and we have a little lack of light over here as well. So I know even though it's going to be a little bit of extra power, we are going to go and put these in their rooms just to give us a little bit of light in the corner there. And I'm careful that it's not going to be intersecting anything. So that's what we need to watch out for with these lights is that it will replace anything that is kind of nearby. So yeah, we need to be wary of that. Uh, so essentially it's going to be the same thing over there as well. Uh, and let's see, we're going to go ahead and add that in there, like so. So we can build things over the top of them perfectly fine, that's not an issue. Uh, the issue is when we are essentially building that on top of something that's already existing there. So for the toilets, for example, doing those properly, what we would want to do is go ahead and build the light and then build the toilet afterwards. I don't like these overhead lights because if you have a look when you select something, it kind of looks like that, it kind of looks like a square, so I don't like to use those. Um, we don't have any other lighting in here at the moment. I'm wanting to do small chandeliers hanging over the bathtubs themselves. A little dangerous, I know. A little dangerous. They're not going to fall down, I, I think. But if you did want to murder someone, that would be one way to do it. So let's hope it doesn't come to that. Yeah. Uh, we've still got a fair bit of wood left, and that's going to be able to complete this plumbing and some of the other tasks that we actually have in place there. Um, we are going to need some bamboo, though, because I did ask for some bamboo flooring to be actually used for the bath itself so we're gonna have to have a look on the outside of the map again for bamboo that seems to be where it wants to grow and so we're gonna go ahead and harvest all of that bamboo in that region there yeah nice good good stuff um uh, okay they're, they're, they're actually kind of getting close 93 percent we'll wait a little bit longer but those trees we're going to be able to get some gin, some zen cherries from them so I'll be liking that. Um, we are going to go ahead and build some more graves as well because we uh, we can do that. Uh, no, we can't go that close because eventually we are going to use that. So yeah, that's as far as we'll go. We'll just ask for two more to be placed down there. Um, and this will also allow us to finish our pathing as well, which right now isn't quite complete. I'd like to do it out the front of here as well. Um, so that will, that will interrupt uh, a little bit of our production 
that we have in mind for bamboo, but um, I think linking those up like that is going to be the right idea for now. We might even look at expanding a little bit of our farm out this way. I kind of want it to be uniform, so if we're going to do it, we might end up doing that somewhere else. Um, things are looking pretty good in here at the moment. We have a, <laughs> we have a lot of potatoes. Um, so we need to make sure that we have more animals coming in so that we can actually be on top of um, making these meals. So I think Triton might actually even be making some kibble there. He is, thank you very much, that's going to make the animals very, very happy. Um, so, Pyre is going to be a little bit busier for a while. I don't know what she has uh, right now set up to hunt. Uh, but looking in and around this area, we do have some more capybara. We even have a panther out there as well. The panther can be... Uh, it's obviously something that we need to watch out for with our animals. Um, the tortoise kind of needs to go. Uh, yeah, because he's going to be eating. He's going to be eating our food. So we don't want that. No serene. Cool. Thank you very much, good friend. Um, right. Anything else around here? Yeah. I mean, I guess we could just go for the capybara that are there. So let's go ahead, Mark. You. There aren't actually that many. Yeah. I'd feel bad about just completely wiping up their herd. That's not something that we want to do. Uh, there are more than enough boar kicking about as well. We could try and hunt some of the, the boomalopes, but uh, that is going to be consuming the monkey corpse. Of course you are. Uh, it's going to be better to do that now while it's raining, but uh, I don't want to mark them for hunting because we could end up doing that pretty much at any time. Uh, lonely alpacas, there are there is more of the herd out there still, so I think we're going to leave it at that for now. I, I'm disappointed that we don't have a researcher. It would have been good to keep him on board, but I guess that's just the way it goes. Uh, we could, I think from now on we are going to try and do that slightly differently because it doesn't seem to be working out super well for us, so yeah. Ooh, okay. Alright, the fires are going to get there. Yeah, they're going to get put out pretty quickly. We've got another snake. Probably going for the monkey. Let's see. Check your needs. No, you're not really hungry. You should be fine for a while. We hope at the very least. Okay, you are going to be making us some more soup, good sir. Fantastic. So much so that we are almost, uh, we're almost full. We're almost at capacity over here, so that's pretty awesome. Um, the Zen cherries, we can't make, uh, we can't make juice from them, so we are still using them in our meals. Uh, we should look to try and harvest some more trees with fruit on once they actually are fully fully grown because um, some more fruit juice would be nice because we've got 36 in there at the moment and that can disappear. They don't seem to be super keen on the tea and coffee. I don't really ever see them drinking it that often. I guess they just don't feel the need for whatever for whatever, for whatever reason. Judas, thank you very much for keeping that all nice and clean for us. That's really good, buddy. Um, so it seems like we have a bit of a shortage or no, it's just construction isn't happening right now. Strange. Uh, okay. Alright, well that's that's okay. Um, ish. We've got just toilets and uh, and bathtubs just sitting outside right now. Would be good if there was some construction happening yet. Hey, Pi is actually eating in, in her own room. This usually tends, on, tends to be like the break room. Uh, people just make their way in there very quickly. Okay, all right. Yeah, the, the rooms have more light at the moment. That's good. So construction is happening. It's just happening elsewhere. Uh, Pia, you're heading out. That's good. You're going to go hunt the tortoise. Fantastic. Good luck. Uh, hope that goes well for you. Hope the animals don't get in the way because we don't want to accidentally end up hitting them. Okay, yeah, the tortoise is going down. You're out of luck, tortoise. Your day's numbered. This is it. Good job, Pia. Good job. Okay, repairing... Wooden wall. Oh, right, of course, because uh, Pi accidentally shot the wooden wall. Of course, she did. If that did get destroyed, it could potentially knock down all of this. Well, not all of it. It wouldn't be a full on collapse, but it'd be, uh, be pretty close to. Yeah, it wouldn't be super great. Oh, yes, would you look at that? Well, you know what direction I think I'm going to go with this? I think I'm going to focus on reflection. So, um, at the moment, we're, it's at 20% per level, so this is going to knock us up to 40%, um, essentially a 40% chance that it's going to deflect it back to them. Although, if I do defense, increases block and deflected bullets by 15% per level. So I think we want to go defense again first, and then do another point in reflection as it kind of moves along. So we are going to go defense, so it's going to mean I'm more likely to block. And then reflection means that the ones that I do block are more likely to go back to the person who actually shot them at me. So, yeah. I feel like it would be better to just go as far along down defense as possible. 
Um, Triton's definitely going to be offense orientated, so I'm going to be more focused on like holding attention, and then I'm going to get Triton to try and flank around, and then just like go in there and just start going ham. That's the plan. We'll see if that works out. Sorry, I didn't mean to say ham in front of you, buddy. Please, uh, please forgive me. I didn't, uh, didn't mean anything <laughs> by it. Uh, we might need to uh, change this as well because uh, their zone that they have at the moment, so clear allowed area for the paddock, it's not going to include this place here. So yeah, you guys can't come inside the bathhouse, otherwise it's just going to get super, super dirty and uh, we don't want that. Uh, are you going to be able to connect up okay? I would have thought so. No, apparently not. Oh yeah, actually that is quite a distance that you go in there. Uh, so we need to make a connection at some point. I guess the question is where do we want to have that connection? Um, we could just go across like that. I think that's okay. It is going to be running through the hallway there. It's not the end of the world. It's okay. But I do like that things are a little bit more lit up inside of here now. It feels a little, just a little better. Okay, more coffee. Of course. Of course, even though I've like reduced the production, like we, we aren't producing anywhere near as much as we used to, we still end up with a fair amount of it. Certainly have no shortage there. Um, yeah, we're probably gonna need to get some more bamboo, more than likely. Uh, did we, no, we didn't even, <laughs> we didn't even do the construction in there. Okay, so, oh no, actually in saying that, there is, there is enough out there, it just needs to get brought back. Giselle, you're bringing that back to do some work. That's good. How hungry are you? Ah, <laughs> uh, no, you're okay, but I guess that means once it gets below a certain point, it's gonna start trying to hunt. And if that's my animals, which it's kind of looking like they are the closest things to it, we need to make sure that we're the first person to uh, essentially take action. Pyre, you are still close enough that I'm gonna bring you back and get you to take care of this thing, hopefully. Uh, and hopefully from a distance as well. Uh, we don't need to be behind cover, we just need to be far enough away that we'll be able to get maybe one or two shots in before the thing uh, actually comes for us. Okay, yeah, that's 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 a good enough range. So, it's not gonna start to attack us until we actually get a shot on it. So hopefully it's a good first shot. Um, I'm close, so I might be able to back up if it does start charging. But we do actually need to get the shot first. I was going to say 69% chance to hit. It's a, it's actually a pretty good chance. Uh, I'm just going to stand ground here. Uh, oh, out of the way though. Oh, okay, nice, good shot. Okay, that was another one. Okay, again, she's doing really freaking good here. Okay, oh, no, 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 no. Wild boar, you do not need to do that, my friend. Okay, so Pyre can go off. She can do her own thing. Let's just have a look at the animals. Um, there's nothing there telling them that they should be attacking. I guess it just straight up decided it wanted to attack the boar. Well done! Holy crap! Good job! Good freaking job! Okay, let's go ahead and finish off the panther then. Okay, there we go. That was a nice thing to do. Okay, and that will get brought back in. Um, yeah, that wild boar was great. Fantastic job. Glad to have him as a member. You've earned your keep today, my friend. You've earned your keep. Actually, how are we looking at the moment? We've got two males, do we? Yeah. Uh, that one isn't actually tamed, so that's ours. That is not ours. Okay, all right, but the other one is. So the others are just kind of hanging around for now. Maybe they will decide that they uh, like the look of the place and they want to stick around for longer. I wonder if that has any factor on whether or not they self-tame. Like, if they're in an area and they find that there's lots of food there all the time, does that make them more likely to want to uh, join or stay for a while? And listen, um, what else can I be placing down here? I guess I could look at be look at placing more of these there, possibly, or I could look at chucking some meals in 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 one or both of those rooms. I mean, they can buy from here when we have guests, so maybe it's just going to be worth having another another chiller in here, just next to that. Cool. So the panther has been brought in. Judas, you looked green then for a second, buddy. Are you okay? You're right here. We still need to do something about that, my bud. We will, I promise. Um, you want a, a like a replacement, though, don't you? No, it's not you. Okay, it's someone else that wants a uh, a prosthetic. That's what I was trying to get out. We got there in the end. Okay, how are we looking at the moment? We've got enough blocks. We just don't have enough construction happening, or rather, construction happening in the wrong places. Of course, Pyre's room is the place to go. Why? This is a perfectly good dining room right here. But for some reason, it's always Pyre's room. 
I feel like we need to almost get rid of um, the table and chair in Pyre's room because people just go there all the time. It's not a gathering spot. I guess I could forbid people, in a way, from going there if I gave Pyre her own, like, pathing, but then I'd need to give everyone else that same kind of pathing and tell them, don't go in there. And, uh, yeah. I don't know about that. I don't know. It's, uh, it's certainly getting pretty full in here. We've got a lot of leather, um, just kind of crowding the place up. We don't have a lot of leather storage out here. Um, or rather, the leather that we do have stored, we have a lot of it. Um, yeah, hmm. We could start trying to actually make that into things again. Um, I guess I'd just be asking myself, like, what else do we need right now? We don't really need much else. I, I, I kind of would like to give Triton the, the chef's hat, if that's possible. Um, what do we need? Just 30 cloth of any kind? Or is it, does it just have to be cloth? I'm going to place it there because... While while it's great having the hood on, I think the chef's hat would just be next level because he's he's our incredible cook. Um, something that we do want to do though is actually work on getting a proper helmet of some kind. Don't think we're going to be able to make that here because it's not exactly fabric. But um, yeah, it'll be somewhere else, won't it? Navy helm. Hmm. Steel. Okay. So we can make an Imperial Navy helmet here. Uh, what else can we make then, helmet-wise? Rebel cold helmet. Oh, okay, for, for where it's cold. Okay, well, it's not cold. Turkey revenge, okay. Uh, we'll check in on that in a second. Let's see, is there anything about the heat? Um, I guess there's a scout one. Rebel alliance helmet. Alliance officer uniform. Hmm. I guess if we were going to go for a helmet, we should probably go for Rebel over the Imperial ones, especially because, well, well, I don't know, I don't know. Um, Rebel Alliance helmet seems to be like a, a good in-between. So if I go ahead and ask for two of those to be made, um, you know what, Judas doesn't really have one either, so. Uh, let's go ahead and ask for four of them to be made. Rebel Alliance helmet, four. Okay. And Giselle is actually working on the chef's hat right now. Uh, okay, so let's check in on Turkey Revenge. That's going to be Pyre. Pyre, are you are you going to be okay? Are you going to be able to stand your ground against the turkey? You got this. Turkey's going down. Doesn't no? Don't stop to eat. Pyre, what are you doing? She's just like she's just like I I, I don't even know. She's like nah, I don't don't need to worry about this. I'm just going to go back and rest. I'm not going to worry about this at all. This uh, this man hunting man hunting turkey ain't no uh, concern to me. And then she just turns around, bam, blasts it once, and, and misses. Okay, come on, you got this. Okay, you don't got this anymore. Uh, right, your chance to shoot now is not as good. Let's start backing you up again. Can you run? You can. You're going to be faster than it because it's injured. Uh, let's get back. Keep on moving. Okay, that should be enough there. Come on, take a shot. Nice. One more. Okay, not good. Keep on moving. See, if you if you didn't stop to eat, you would be fine. But no, you had to be cocky. Come on, you've got this. This shot. There we go. Done. Uh, hauling. I was like taming. I thought it said like prioritize taming turkey. I was like, ah, oh, we, we we can't tame that turkey. That ship has sailed. Um, okay, all right, so we have actually used all of that bamboo, so we're gonna have to go and ask for some more to be chopped down. So we need to find it first, and then select similar. There's a fair amount more of it out there, and we can harvest that pretty quickly. Okay, so let's just start to fast forward as the night does fall on us, and the chef's hat is complete. So let's have a look at Triton. We're going to change his, his, his outfit, essentially. So we're gonna go to Triton, edit, Jedi, uh, I want to copy the outfit. I, I guess we could just go new outfit. Manage outfits, okay. Select outfit, Jedi, can't copy it. I guess new outfit, all right. Uh, you know what, I could just force him to wear it. Yeah, I'll, I'll just force him to wear it, that's easier. Delete outfit, outfit six, done. Okay, that's nice and easy, problem solved. That's what we'll do. Oh, we got some blood inside. What the hey? Blood of the panther. Okay. All right. I guess we brought it in through that way. 
must have been what happened. Um, all right, we do still have construction happening. It's just, I guess, that, that's that been kind of left by the wayside for now. Building floor lamp. Thank you. Sure, Pi appreciated that, just like flashing to light in her eyes. Okay, you're actually getting the blocks over there. Brilliant. They are getting in place. Construction is happening. Fantastic. We're getting there. Slowly but surely. Knocking everything into place. Okay. Uh, oh, the build is complete. You made those helmets so fast. God damn. I'm, I'm quite impressed with that. Uh, now I guess my question will be, are they going to use those helmets or not? They probably don't need to. I think what we want to do is have the helmets at the ready, so that if, you know, it comes to it, we can use them. So let's go ahead and place all these boxes by the front door, and the idea that uh, we will just quickly grab a helmet and chuck it on. Yeah. I'm okay with that. That'll work, right? Maybe, maybe not. We don't know. We can't. Uh, Spago is pregnant. Okay, fantastic. More doggos. Great. Okay, I wonder if we're gonna have twins again. Quite possibly. Have you been reconnected? Why don't you just reconnect? Oh, you've connected to that. Of course you have. Not a wise move. Not a wise move. What are you, what are you doing there? What are you, are you, I don't know what she was doing. I, I cannot know. So she's doing something there. Maybe maintaining the the lamp, the pedestal lamp, possible. Um, we need to do something about these lights. It's driving me crazy. I, I can't stand it. Uh, we want that to be deconstructed for sure. Um, yeah, I need to change them. They uh, they hurt my eyes, hurt my soul. Can't have them there. Okay, Solace, you're off the bed. Okay, fantastic. Giselle, you are just flying about. She's had soup. You know when someone's had soup. Okay, all right, jumping over to here, we want to go clear all, first of all, and meals and bowl of stew, because that's pretty much what we're gonna be constructing now. There's not really any, yeah, there's no, it's not worth us making anything else right now, I think. Uh, although, in saying that, I think Triton is, what are you, what are you doing at the moment? Are you making soup still? Yep, yeah, slow cooking stew, fantastic. It's stew, it's not soup. I will remember one of these dates. You just eat my bamboo, you son of a bitch. That takes ages to grow. You sneaky bugger. That bamboo takes an age to grow. All right, um, I actually want to expand that grow zone. I don't want to take out those coconut trees. 100% do not want to do that. Let's just go ahead and expand down that way, like that, and around them, down to here, and even taking out that tree. That'll be perfect. And then we can have some more bamboo growing around there. And it kind of looks cool as well. I don't mind the look of it. How are we looking on our jet zen cherries? We're getting there, slowly but surely. Um, I don't know if we need any more zen cherries, but it's like they're out there, right? So we might as well. I feel like we're gonna be overflowing with, with food soon. And um, I'm, I'm kind of okay with that. Fantastic, they are ready to harvest. So let's go zone area, nope. Orders, rather, secondary harvest is what we want to do. Bam. Great. So that means that some of the others that we might have missed out on uh, are actually ready to harvest. Zen, I oh, 90%. Yeah. Nearly. Those don't have any cherries. Oh, actually, those have cherries. As do they. As do they. Okay, fantastic. Uh, that one does too. How did I miss that other one then? Okay. I don't know. But the cherries are ready to harvest, so let's go ahead and get moving again, bringing as many of those in as we possibly can. It looks like, a, yeah, it's like a, it's a map-wide thing. Don't think I can quite get to the other tree. There we go. Perfect. Done. Great. Peach tree is not ready. That one looks like it is. It's very close to being close enough that I'm going to grab it because we, I want some more juice. Yes. Uh, Wild Boar 2 is successfully healed. I didn't know you were injured, buddy. I did not realize that. I'm a terrible owner. I'm sorry. It's not very good of me, is it? Not very good at all. Do we want some more Spectigo? Uh, yeah, I guess we could have some Spectigo tea. We're not really brewing any yet, are we? I'm not sure. Are we brewing Spectigo tea? We are brewing Spectigo tea forever in bulk. So that's something that will keep Triton busy, no doubt. Oh, there we go. Spectigo tea. Fantastic. Uh, great. Meditative. Excellent. Well, it would be nice to have some Spectigo tea out here as well, but um, I guess we'll just see. 
Yeah. Oh, yes. Fantastic. Research has finished for machining. Okay, so we can now build machining tables to craft guns and machinery or disassemble dead mechanoids. Fantastic. Okay, so we're just going to continue on with that, going into microelectronics basics. That's going to allow us to make the comms console and to make the orbital trade beacon and the high tech research bench. Brilliant. Good. Okay, fantastic. It looks like there's a few things here actually. Uh, industrial. Oh, no, hang on. No, I can't actually see. Okay, I'm, I'm assuming there's a few things there that have popped up. Um, so let's just say, okay, sure, we understand that. Let's go and have a look at production and see what we have under there. So there is the field, field smithy, which I think was actually there before. Um, advanced fabrication bench. A workstation for assembling various advanced weapons and armor. Oh, I wonder if the lightsabers could be underneath that. Maybe, maybe. We also have a machining table, a workstation for assembling and disassembling machinery such as guns or mechanoid corpses. Cool. So I think we want both of those. Um, uh, how do we want to fit them in here? So right now we have the drug lab down here. We could do something similar, uh, having something else up here. Um, that would kind of work. Advanced fabrication, having that up there. It's, it, it means it's a, it's a bit of a cramped environment that we're working in, but I think, yeah, it doesn't matter how we do it, it's going to be cramped, you know? It's it's not actually the biggest space in the world that we're in this this crafting room. Um, but I, I don't think that's terrible. I think it's okay. Uh, we can still move through this area okay-ish. Yeah. So a machine table, we are going to want that as well. So we'll go ahead and put that in there. And um, yeah, we are going to make these chairs. So we're going to drop them in there and there. And we should still be able to move through there without um, too much trouble. That's the hope, at least. And we'll see what we can do once we actually get those things constructed. So hopefully we will see those go down. There's going to be a fair bit of plant cutting that happens. So we'll see what um, see what happens. You are working very well, Mira. Thank you very much. Getting those all chopped. And Pyre is just smashing on into the next stage of research for us. So i like it okay so those are the helmets right yeah okay so we want those to be over here once that um is actually up and running um oh we have more than enough kibble there now great okay so our animals aren't gonna have any issues at all uh damn dirty rat we want you out of here you're not gonna come and eat our potatoes among other things yeah we're gonna be doing okay for food for a while i almost want to change all of this to corn now um the reason behind that is corn takes a lot longer to grow, but the the return you get from it is so much greater. So I think we are going to change them over to corn now, just because we don't want to be harvesting as often and sowing as often. It means it's something that we can kind of just leave alone for a while. We'll keep growing potatoes there just so we have a bit of a variety in our food crop. But I mean, with everything else that's out here and with being able to harvest these cherries at this time of year, we are, we're looking okay food wise. Yeah, I mean, it's 51 Zen cherries right there. It's great. It's awesome. Good stuff. And Triton, you're going to be making some juice, huh? Yeah, you are. Hitting up the juice. That's what we're doing. Okay, Judas, you're just keeping things nice and clean. That's brilliant. Giselle is completing construction over there. And Pia is attempting to shoot from very far away a rat that is currently eating some of our grass. And uh, please don't shoot, Judas. Please don't. Please. Okay, she's uh, making it. Oh, wow, good good shot. Good job, Pyre. I should never doubt you, not for a second. No, you are more than capable. Okay, so we still need more bamboo. Has it been brought in? Is it going to be constructed? That is the question of the day. There's more than enough out there. Yeah, more than enough. Uh, we want to make sure that they do get hauled in, though, these Zen cherries. So I'm going to go ahead and select all of them. Oh, 500 and... Hot damn. Okay, so these ones here don't need to be hauled. They're already in position. So, okay, I didn't realize I'd selected those as well. So there's like another 200 out there. We are okay on food. We are definitely okay on food. Yeah, easy. Pressing fruit, you go ahead, do that, my friend. Solace. Get us that boar. Okay, they're going to get brought in. Everyone's going to be a little busy doing this just for a bit, but um, it shouldn't take too long. Like that, you know, we've already got that done. Bam. Just like that. Go ahead and cancel these. Um, yeah, they've already been harvested. That's fine. Perfect. Good stuff. Um, do we have enough wood? We have more than enough wood to get those things built. I um, guess I just want to see more construction happening here. 
I am going to have to have a look and see exactly what it is that I am doing. I am hauling things. Okay, that's fine. We can do that for now as well. But uh, would love to see that finished off. Would love to see these other little bits and pieces that we have getting built within the temple finished off as well. Um, we are going to need to try and source this slate from somewhere. Um, I don't know if I actually figured that out in the end. Oh, right here. Perfect. Okay, that's something that we are just going to have to send them out to do. Um, for us to have enough slate to actually complete our hallway. But, um, yeah. We didn't quite get this completed. We got the bare bones in, the baths in, the toilets in. So it's going to be a nicer bathroom for them than, than this one here. It's, it's kind of basic. Um... I don't know whether or not we'll keep this one. We might, just for the time being. We, I have asked for that to be removed because I was just going to replace it with a shower for the time being. Um, just because this is still quite a public place. Uh, but yeah, I feel like we're uh, we're getting somewhere. We just need to uh, have a look at our construction and see exactly who's going to be able to jump on board and start doing that again for us. All the hauling is done for now. Looks like we should be close to. Yeah, that's the very last of it now. So let's go ahead and cancel you. And Judas, thank you very much. So that should be the last of it. Everyone should be back on construction. And sure enough, it's happening. It's a, it's a slow process at times, but we're getting there. And uh, I'm getting further along to leveling up, as is Triton. Uh, we don't have him wearing that chef's hat yet. We, we definitely need that. We can't end this episode. We're going to force force wear the um, chef's hat bam there we go it's a good look i mean it's not i'll be honest it's it's not a jedi hood but it's pretty freaking good i like it especially for when he's inside here i think that actually does help him with uh with cooking and stuff um if i have a look at gear chef's hat if i have a look under info poison has been bitten to it's kind of ironic i know and I don't want to laugh. I'm sorry, Triton. I know you love the animals. But our puppy named Poison was killed by a cobra. Probably the same cobra that killed Isis. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, see, look at this. It actually does improve the speed of everything. I mean, we could, we could get him out of the robe and have him in proper chef stuff. God damn it. Where is this freaking snake? Where was poison? Because it's gone. I, I left it there for too long. I'm not going to be able to exactly figure out where poison was or how far poison was roaming. That was probably what was happening, right? Is that poison Poison had roamed too far and a snake had got them. If I have a look at our animals again, because they're unrestricted, that means that they are going to wander and uh, that's what's happened here. God damn it. I'm sorry, buddy. Oh, Poison, where are you? Hmm. That's frustrating. And no, I, I don't have the wildlife tab yet, so I can't tell where the snake is. Sneaky bastard. There he is. Okay, so where... Where is he? Hmm? You're the cobra, right? So he's got to be around here somewhere. Unless that isn't the Cobra. It's possible. Okay, there's another Cobra close to us here. So maybe it was him, but... Whoa, what? How did Poison... Oh, so Poison was actually on the rat. I was like, uh... Or rather, the monkey. Okay, so Poison's gonna get a proper burial. Um, we, we definitely need Poison to have a proper burial. So how are we gonna go about this? I know Isis didn't get one because Isis was Isis. Um, let's see, where are we going to bury them? Hmm. I kind of almost like the idea of doing it out the front. Yeah, I think that's what we're going to do. So we're going to go into Misk, we're going to go into Sarcophagus, and we are going to place one uh, right here, actually. Right here. And it's going to be on the way in. And I'm going to go to the Grow Zone, and we're going to plant some flowers around there. So we're going to go grow zone, we're going to create a grow zone all the way around it, and it is going to be, hmm, what kind of flowers? Daylilies? Plumeria? Grows in random colors. The plumeria could be nice, we could have a look and see what that's going to be like. Let's go ahead and hide it, 
and um, I actually want to extend this pathway out a little bit further now. So let's go into more floors, into the limestone slabs, and we're going to extend it out. And uh, we might actually remove the grow zone from that point so that they can actually walk right up to it. Yeah. And you know what? We're going to do a mirror on the other side just to be ready for if anything like that happens again. Um, yeah, I think that's uh, the right way to do it. So let's go here, grow zone, all the way around there again. And we're going to go plume area. Hopefully plume area is the right choice for that. But I think that should be good. But guys and gals, that's going to actually wrap us up for this episode. Don't worry, the snake is going to get their comeuppance. They're both going to go on hunting. Or rather, be put on hunt. Uh, in the hopes that, well, Pyre is going to be able to handle that without too much trouble. Yes. But that will wrap us up for today. Thank you all for joining me for another episode. I have been Rykon. You have all been awesome. And until next time, may the Force be with you.